Hey guys, it's Jen here, and today I'm going to be talking about planting bulbs. Now, I'm going to spare you the video of me planting 600 bulbs. And do not tell Tom I have 600 bulbs to plant. He might throttle me. Not really, but, you know, 600 bulbs, really. So, the reason I'm so passionate about bulbs is that's kind of where I fell in love with gardening. Um, that was the first thing that... You know, I had gardens before, but that was kind of the first thing that I did when I really realized I need to change my life. There was nothing to do. It was March, it was cold, and I planted bulbs. And when they, and then I waited, and I waited, and then they came up, and I was excited. And then they formed, they started forming their blooms, and they opened up, and it was just magnificent. It really was so bulbs are a little bit of work but I do think that they're well worth the wait and you do the work and you get to relax and then when they come up it's just magnificent and you get to enjoy things you get to enjoy their blooms while you're getting ready for your spring and summer gardens and they're just nice they're just nice so anyhow that's why I'm so passionate. That's why I bought 600 bulbs. <laughs> okay, guys. So the first thing I'm going to be planting, I'm going to be planting tulips. And you want to plant your tulips about five to six inches deep. And your tulips, let's see if I can show you. Open this up. Your tulips are going to go pointy side up. So pointy side up, five to six inches deep. I'll just show you the few, a few of the ones I have. I have quite a few white and they are gonna go around the fountain in our circular driveway. Um, and so I think that will look really pretty and really striking there, the white. And then I have a couple of packages of these. This is the Orange Emperor, and it's just a really pretty tangerine pinky color. So I'm excited to see what these look like. Now this is mixed with white and you don't really know what what's what so I'm gonna dig a hole six inches deep and about two foot in diameter and throw the not throw them but plant the two packages of these in that area and have one big cluster and make it look really beautiful and then these are kind of neat these start off white then they change into a yellow with some pink accent and then they change into pink with some yellow accent and i have two packages of these and i thought these would be neat to kind of see how they do I, this would be interesting when they come up and then i have four packages of these black parrot tulips and white parrot tulips and see how the edge is a little bit fringy and then the white has some green on it so i think these would be really pretty I'm really excited about those and then these my mother-in-law these are the other white ones so this is a different variety than these white ones so I'm gonna do some research to see if which one is going to be better around the fountain um, but my mother-in-law wanted the pink ones so I gave her the pink ones um, and I'm sure they'll look really pretty um, in, in her pot, she's going to plant hers in pots, I believe. And then, I have one more. Where'd it go? And then, I have a, a little area with a black iron bench and a red pillow. I call it the red, the red garden. And I'm going to plant these over there in that area. And I think it'll look really striking, the red. Um, so, that's... Most of my tulips, um, I have quite a bit. I probably have um, 250 tulips to plant, but I love tulips. It'll be exciting. So we'll see how they come up. Um, and then the next thing I'm gonna talk about is daffodils. So daffodils are great. I like when daffodils come up because it reminds me that springs just spring is here things are coming to life um my daffodils are typically the first thing to bloom um so the daffodils just make me happy i have some planted in my yard already they, they were here when we bought the home 
but I came across these and these kind of are a soft yellow and then they turn into like a creamy yellow and I have two packages of these so I will find a place for these and I think they'll be really beautiful. Another thing I'm going to be planning, oh, sorry, and these you will plant about, you will plant these four inches deep. Hair side down, point up. And then I have irises. Um, I do have some irises planted in my yard, but I have never planted iris bulbs before. Um, so these are, you plant four inches deep. And these get about 20 inches tall. And I haven't decided where I'm going to put these yet, but they were buy one, get one half off, guys. What was I going to do? I had to buy them. Okay. And then y'all are going to laugh at me. I'm going to try to pronounce this. This is a Pushkinia. Pushkinia, maybe, probably wrong, but I gave it my best effort. And look at these little clusters of delicate flowers. Baby blue with some light yellow. I have two packages of these and these are gonna be planted three inches deep. And these only get about four to six inches tall and wide. So not very big, but I think they're really beautiful. So we'll see how these do too. And then I'm gonna be planting Sorry, bear with me. But my allium bulbs. So this is allium Mount Everest. And these are, I planted um, allium pinwheel wizard, the purple one. So these are white. And these get 30 inches high. And I'm gonna plant these eight inches deep. And I just got one bag. I placed an order from Longfield, Longfield Farms, and that's where, Longfield Gardens, I'm sorry. That's where I've gotten a lot of my bulbs. Um, Costco normally carries them, um, and I have a great success, so I always like to order what I know. And then I have some single um, freesias. So these are called single white freesias, and I'm probably going to plant these in pots. And then the one I'm most excited about is the ranunculus. So look at these blooms. They almost look like roses and they bloom for two months. So here's the rule. If you're south of me, you will plant them in the fall. If you live north of me, you will plant them in the late winter or early spring. Um, I'm gonna, this is my first time planting them and I've done quite a bit of research on them, but they're not just, you don't just stick them in the ground. So their roots are, look like little spiders and they have to be hydrated. Um, so you don't just stick them in the ground. So I am going to do a separate video on ranunculus once I get ready to plant these. Um, I'm really excited. I probably have, um, 300 ranunculus roots. So I hope the crop doesn't fail. Word of advice, when you're trying a new plant, you shouldn't, you shouldn't go all in. Test the water first. Don't, don't do as I do, do as I say. Um, tulips are pretty safe, but ranunculus are a little bit more difficult just because one, I live on the border of when they should be planted. And two, I think they're so beautiful. They bloom for two months and they each flower gets multiple blooms. I mean, I just love that. But if they don't work out, I'm gonna be really, really disappointed. So I hope they do work out. Anyhow, I'm gonna start getting some of these bulbs in the ground. You guys have a great, great day. And thank you for watching. And please follow me on YouTube. Please follow me on Instagram. I know this isn't for everyone, but you know, I enjoy doing it. I like it and I need a little bit of something in my life for myself. All right. Thank you guys for watching. You all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.